Hey guys, Chris Cooley Shooter. Today I've got, uh, um, it's not an unboxing, it's just kind of a little bit of a review um, of a pistol. Uh, this is my buddy's pistol. I'm just up uh, visiting Woody 306. And uh, you got a pistol that kind of goes in line with uh, a few of mine that I have. And uh, I'm just kind of looking at maybe. I want to do a bit of a comparison, but uh, because we don't get in the same place, it's uh, a little bit tougher to kind of get together. Um, uh, we are we do go to the same range every once in a while, but right now there's a fire ban on, so we can't. Um, so it's going to be impossible for me to do this firearm along with the other three that I want to do as far as comparison. So. Um, We'll just hop into it all, and I'll just kind of tie it in um, with some of the other stuff, and uh, just so you guys have an idea. Um, we got the uh, Canic, or Jonic, or however you want to pronounce it. Um, it's uh, their main turkey, um, based off of Walter. And uh, this is what you get in the box. So you get some cleaning stuff here. Um, picture owner's manual. Um, he's already added out, obviously. This is his. This is like his first pistol he ever had or ever bought. So um, it comes with a holster. Um, There's nice features. Um, little trigger lock. Uh, this little tool kit with some O-rings and some screws and whatever. Uh, a different back strap here and uh, and the optics mounting plates um, so they do several different types um, optics mounting so it is optics ready so that is handy this is the TP9 SFX I'll just go ahead and drop the mag it's empty fire is clear clear so the TP9 SFX this is in the FDE but he loves the FDE, so this is their longer slide version. This is their competition version. Um, like I said, it's, it's optics ready. It's got worn tactical sights, fiber optic front sight, um, leave a five inch barrel. Um, the only thing I'm not a big fan of is the optics mounting system. We, it's right here, it's got the screws there. But it pulls off your rear sight. Now, I, I understand there's some sights, you, or some red dots and stuff that emulate uh, that have a bit of a, a co-witness I don't really know how much you'd ever need to co-witness but it, it's nice to know that it's there in case your optic fails I guess it depends you get what you pay for there so um, yeah it's it's a it's a pretty nice gun actually um, the trigger is pretty good um, what you have is you get uh, your Take down levers are here. Um, slide release, it's just on one side, so it's not added extras. I believe the mag release, which is extended, and ha you can actually pull a piece out of it if you want, if it's too big. Um, but uh, it's nice and protruded. Um, so when you get your hands in there, it's not hard to, to drop the mag out and go. So. Um, Slide release actually sticks out fairly nicely. Um, I I don't seem to ride it. I, I, I've shot this gun a couple times. It's not bad. Um, it's quite an accurate firearm actually. Um, you got uh, chamber indicator, a little chamber indicator. You got uh, striker indicator on the back. Um, Serial numbers on the back. Um, it says it will fire without the magazine. Made in Turkey. Um, and then the trigger. The trigger is a big thing. Um, supported by Sentry Arms. Um, but the trigger, you no, know, a little bit of take up, and then it's kind of, kind of just creeps just a little bit. You feel the wall, and then it just breaks so nice, and then just. Just a little reset, you can audible, just breaks like that. 
yeah, like this, this gun is pretty crazy. So it's got some lightning cuts-ish, if you want, slide cuts, and some slide serrations up in the front. Not super aggressive, but enough for, to get a grab on if, you, if you're looking to. Um, it's got the Jeanic Canic symbol on the side. I kind of wish they would have came with the back straps kind of matching, but I guess it adds to that black and FDE. Um, I believe you can get it in a gray Cerakote as well. And then there is a special Canadian edition, which is a white. Um, and then I do believe there's a new version coming out. It's the, called the Rival, and it has a custom Cerakote. They made a custom color. Um, for it um, with Cerakote um, Canon Canon did from what I understand I just watched one review and that's kind of what I was told so don't take the word for this law uh, Canada 10 round magazines so these are you know full size 10 round mags you go in and out Metgar uh, so they're you know good quality magazines the holster comes with it. I mean, it's nothing super, super fancy, but I mean, it comes with a holster, so you, you can't really go wrong. It does have retention, so you gotta just pull up on this tab or on the little bit of serration there, um, which then releases this trigger catch or the trigger guard catch there. So. Um, I mean that's just a nice little feature it comes with um, comes with a chamber flag you know well those are those, you know it's a good starter pistol you know um, in Canada these are running uh, $719 right now $719 which I mean it sounds like a lot of money but in Canada that's pretty reasonable um, I'm gonna be directly comparing this pistol um, to the Walter PDP 5 inch compact, um, which is optics ready as well. The HK SFP 9 L um, OR, so or or the VP 9 L OR, um, in the which is optics ready as well, and to the uh, the FN 509 LS Edge, which is another five inch long slide uh, optics ready uh, firearm this one comes in at the cheapest uh, it's like seven hundred nineteen dollars um, where the uh, PDP I think is well I'm seeing online is $8.99 right now um, and then I do believe it's about $12.50 Anywhere from 1300 to 1150 depending on, you know, what sale you can find or, or what deal you can get um, for the uh, BHK um, and then uh, the FN509 Sedge, um, 16 to 1800 probably, 14 to 1800 depending on where you look. And then you got to think about, you know, other things you get with it, I mean, um, you know, your warranty, your liabilities, you know, sites, uh, cost of magazines in Canada because magazines aren't cheap. Um, they add up, like my HK magazines are $89.99 Canadian a piece. So it's a little pricey. I believe these are roughly right around the $50 mark. Uh, you might be able to find them on sale every once in a while here and there. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I mean, you gotta look at cost of ownership. Um, so what I what I would like to do is you know see some velocities if you're gonna get out of this pistol and uh, do the comparison there. But uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I'm gonna get much shooting. Uh, I might might get some video from uh, Woody 306 of him shooting it, just so you guys can see what it's like, and I'll just add that to the video. Um, you know, the comparison end of things, anyways. And then we can go from there. Um, yeah. So, this is the can. The grip texture is, you know, it's aggressive in the front and the back. Not so much right here. But, 
you know, you're gonna ground it, you know, you're gonna point as well. That, that uh, red fiber optic sticks up real nice. Nice and clean break. So you can really separate this trigger finger from the rest of your body when you're trying to squeeze the trigger there. Um, now the leaf to break it down, it's just very similar to that of a block. So yeah, striker, uh, make sure it's, you got know, the magazine out of it. Squeeze the trigger, pull back just a hair, pull these down, comes apart. Looks quite similar to a lot of your striker fires. Um, Oh. You got a captured spring there. Um, and then your barrel. That's a nice big long barrel. And then your your slide. So yeah, it's very nothing nothing fancy about that as far as uh, you know it's a typical striker fire. So yeah, pretty pretty good. So yeah, it's definitely a nice uh, pistol to get started with and to try. Um, you know, um, you know, nice Cerakote colors and stuff. They they do a lot to kind of get you in the door. And uh, you know, there's some guys that are competing with these and doing quite well and winning matches. So they uh, um, are definitely where to look if you're looking at getting into something competition. Um, and you're on a budget. I know in Canada, like 700 bucks sounds like a lot of money, but I mean, if you're looking for competition ready, something that you could probably go to a match with, you know, if you got a couple extra mags and you, you, you just went with that holster or whatever, you could, you could function, you could survive, you can make it work. I don't know whether or not you'd win, but I think, I think if you, yeah, you'd have you do you'd be in the running or at least your equipment would have you in the running anyways. I mean, you, you might want to go with a better holster, something that doesn't have a uh, or any retention lock or whatever for competition use anyways. Something that you can get out of the holster a little faster. Um, and then if you want to put a red dot on, I mean, you got the plates there. Um, you just gotta find a red dot that matches. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sure. I'm sure your RMRs, your Hollisons, your Leopolds. Um, I'm sure those all will fit. I'm sure there's a cut for them. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm sure it'll be in the manual there. And you can always Google it too. So, anyways, folks, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll try to get some range, uh, try to get some range footage when we do the comparison video. Right now, it's basically just kind of a, an overview. It's a tabletop overview um, of the Canik. TP9 SFX. So, you know, definitely something to uh, to look into if, uh, if you want. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, all that crap. Um, get out there, join a gun club, do some shooting. And, uh, Support some conservation. So it gives us uh, beautiful places to hunt and shoot and, you know, be outdoorsy about. So, yeah. Cheers.